The story of Naledi and the lion's gift. In the vast savanna of southern Africa, there lived a young girl named Naledi. She was the daughter of a herdsman, and her village was known for its cattle, which were prized for their strength and beauty. Naledi was strong and brave, but unlike her brothers who loved to tend to the cattle, she was fascinated by the wild animals that roamed the plains. She would often wander off into the bush, much to her father's dismay, to watch the elephants, zebras, and antelopes in their natural habitat. One evening, as the sun set over the horizon and the sky turned a deep red, a strange thing happened. The village heard the distant roar of a lion echoing through the air like thunder. It was not unusual to hear lions at night, but this roar was different. It was closer, almost as if the lion was calling for something or someone. That night, Naledi had a dream. In her dream, she stood face to face with a majestic lion, its golden eyes staring deeply into hers. The lion spoke in a voice as calm as the evening breeze. Naledi, you have a heart that listens to the land, but soon, your village will be in great danger. That night, Naledi had a dream. In her dream, she stood face to face with a majestic lion, its golden eyes staring deeply into hers. The lion spoke in a voice as calm as the evening breeze. Naledi, you have a heart that listens to the land, but soon, your village will be in great danger. A drought is coming, and the animals of the wild will suffer, as will your people. But there is a way to save them all. You must seek out the source of the great river and find the heart of the earth. It will bring water back to the land. The next morning, Naledi woke with a sense of purpose. She shared her dream with her father, but he was skeptical. Lions do not speak. He said gruffly. And the great river is too far for a young girl to travel alone. Stay with your brothers and tend to the cattle. But Naledi could not ignore the lion's words. She knew the land better than anyone in the village, and her heart told her the dream was true. So, without telling anyone, she set off on her journey, guided by the stars and the whispers of the wind. For days, Naledi walked, passing through dry grasslands and across dusty plains. She faced scorching heat during the day and freezing cold at night, but her determination never wavered. Along the way, she encountered many wild animals, but none harmed her. It was as if they knew she was on a sacred quest. Finally, after many days of travel, she reached the source of the Great River, a place where a massive waterfall once roared but was now dry and barren. In the center of the dry riverbed, there was a large stone, glowing faintly with an otherworldly light. Naledi knelt before the stone and placed her hands on it. Suddenly, the ground trembled, and a voice filled the air it was the lion from her dream. You have found the heart of the earth, now lady. Because of your courage and your love for the land, you have been chosen to restore the balance. Speak the words of the ancestors, and the waters will flow again. Now lady closed her eyes and whispered the ancient words she had heard in stories from her grandmother. As she spoke, the ground rumbled, and water began to gush from beneath the stone. It surged up like a fountain, filling the dry river bed and rushing down the plains. The drought was over. The great river flowed once more, bringing life back to the land. Naledi returned to her village to find the fields green again, the cattle healthy, and the people joyful. When she told them of her journey, they were astonished and realized that Naledi had a special connection with the spirit of the land. From that day on, she was known as Naledi, the girl of the lion's gift and the people never forgot the lesson she had learned from the lion that true strength lies not in power or force, but in listening to the heart of the earth and acting with courage and wisdom.